Hello, everyone. All right, let's see how this goes. Let right, me just reload it, I think. I think it, because I had my mouse and it was, I mean, I had my controller and it was messing things up a little bit. Sorry about that. Make sure it's getting captured as well. Ah, uh, sorry, I have to make sure all this works real quick. I think having it. Options, controls. All right, you know, actually it looks like it might play. Okay, it was made. It was not a point and click, I guess. So I'm used to these being like point and click games. Hey, uh, all right. Always turn the brightness up just a little bit. English controls. Special action, action, move, zoom. All right. I can actually turn the volume up a little bit. I usually keep the volume low on boot up because a lot of games are just way too loud, but I think this one actually has good audio balance. Again, sorry, it's just taking me a second to get everything going. There we go. Yeah, I don't know like anything about this game, so... I'll give it a shot. But anything by Amanita Design has been pretty darn good, in my opinion. Yeah, I saw that. I, I actually bought it as well, but I might stream that tomorrow, I, or after this game. I did want to check this out, though. how that little thing it's like yeah that's hot buddy oh get it so that's neat yeah i mean i have so many horror games i need to play as well oh and i have no idea what this game's about or anything but oh Amanita has made fantastic, fantastic stuff, so uh, I'll try anything from them, I guess. I'll try most. I'll try it from them. There is the one game, though, that I that I didn't try that was called Chucho or whatever, but it was I think it was advertised more of like a straight-up kids thing, but I might have to try it sometime as well, just to see. But yeah, Amanitas has made just some fantastic, fantastic things. Oh, I can fast forward through cutscenes as well. Oh shit. But I absolutely loved Machinarium by Nicola, so if this is anywhere near as good as those two games, then no. Oh shit.
Well, this is a great start. walk off okay no I, I all right I think this is designed that there's there might not be fail states or if there are there might be different but we'll see a lot of the their games though are designed without fail states which is neat oh, I can just press a button he click kind of like we'll look around or just like scratch his head or something that's neat. I mean, all their stuff has like amazing sound design. So I'm sorry if I'm talking over it, but I, look at that, just those little things. And again, this game is called Creeks, so. Yeah, it's just showing you can, oh, you can drop down. They let you, all right. I might be able to do something with that hose, but. Huh. And I can't climb back up. Okay. A little bit to explore, though. Am Amanita Design is a Czech developer, if I remember correctly. They've made some really neat stuff. But again, oh, all right. So I can run or sprint, and it is like analog sensitive. But oh, I can just use a D-pad as well. It's hard to just walk, though. I mean, I, I can just run. It, that's more of like the PS3 controller thing than uh, anything else. Puzzle. Some of the puzzles of the Machinarium were actually really difficult. Or kind of difficult. Oh. Huh. This. I mean, it's not quite, but another game I played recently that I. Oh. Really enjoyed was. It's called The Longing, and I would recommend that one as well to try out. But the longing is, I mean, it's completely different from this game. But I've just been doing a few other stuff now on stream. Get pissed. And drop down. I'm guessing if there's a fail, whoop, fail state, like, you recover pretty quickly. Would be my guess if something happened. Nope, you got me. I need there's even animations. And it saves you right there. Okay. 
That's neat. I just want, kind of wanted to see. Alright, buddy. But yeah, another game that are uh, like kind of adventure like game, like, I guess it's a point and click as well. Called um The Longing. It's been really neat. It's one that actually it takes place entirely in like real time. As in like there's a timer that counts down the entire time. And it's on purpose made so you have to wait a lot. But I th I think the idea is really neat. Actually, I want to do this. Or no, I'm mean, bad. Multi-step planning right here. Come on, don't want to get ladder stuck. It's with neat that like almost every single um I might need to design game that I think I think all their games have like very, very little actual dialogue in it. Either spoken or written. It's almost all based off of symbols. Which actually makes it a little bit easier probably to translate. Cause there there is English options, so there has to be at least a few things that are in English, but it might just be stuff like when I pause like these like controls or whatever. Maybe very little in game is actually like a different language. Can I drop down? I guess I can drop down again. Hmm. Oh, I can pull stuff. All right. Again, I'm not really expecting a difficult game by any means. I'm just here for the ride, you know. And very good environmental storytelling. Uh, what's the plan right here? Actually? Yeah, get close enough to piss that off. Let's run and do this. And then do that. Alright, there you go.
can't run down. How long does this take to move? Okay. I was wondering if I could, like, do something with that to... Actually... I know what it wants me to do. I'm bad. Music's so good. Can I not go on the slider? Oh, there we go. love this music though. Again, like all of them have great music. Puzzles. I don't know if there's a fancier solution to that. What? Oh, I'm an idiot. Puts out if it's pushed out of light, yeah. Duh. Just push out a light, it becomes that again. Alright, that's good to know. It's not just a one way thing.
not time that correctly. I wait long enough. I forget if they give up or not. They do. Yeah, I need it. I need to do this first. I'm just wondering how much of this game is going to be this puzzle, or if there's going to be like different types of puzzles throughout the game. I mean, I imagine there's going to be different types throughout the game. these designs for everything. It's just look nice. And I love that when you get it correct, you can hear the music pick up when you get something correct. Because, like, there are other... I mean, this is more... This is probably more just a straight, like, puzzle game. Which, again, I did not look up anything about this game before I played it. I thought it was going to be more point and click. I didn't even realize it was just mostly controller-based. So it makes sense that this is going to be more, uh... Puzzle-oriented. Alright. I don't know if I need to do that right now. I probably need to get both of these outside of their zones, but I need to see what everything does for I, uh... Oh, I just noticed that little skeleton. Yeah, so I need to get those two on these. It'll be easier getting this guy over first. He's gonna have to eventually go back. When he goes back, he's gonna be stuck there. Yep. <laughs> oh, that's neat. Look at that. He's like inquisitive about it. It's also pretty neat that, like, I mean, it makes sense that, like, these creatures would be, since everything's, like, I guess, creaky, of course, everything would be used to, uh, like, any unusual noise would really set them off. Right, what is that? come from this angle to do this. to jump my uh, myself Hup. 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 
this is actually this is equivalent to the old school like mobile flash game or mobile game. this lower set down. Alright. Goal is to eventually go up. There's a light there. Couple lights. There's no light below though. Oh no, yes there is. Yes there is. There's this. Hmm. Oh I know. It won't be, he's gonna try to go home, he won't be able to. He's gonna be like, oh, I can't go to my house. Neat. Yeah, I really love the design of this game. It just looks neat in general. And these are some already, like, kind of intricate puzzles, you know? Nothing, like, hard, but... They're neat. Okay. But, yeah, he didn't go home with that, so I guess I have to run down and around. It almost reminds me a little bit of Oddworld, almost? Kind of, a little bit. I know Oddworld are more like the following mechanics and stuff, but... Oh no, can I crush- is this gonna crush him? Oh, no, it senses something's in the way, so I won't do it. Okay. So I need to lure this guy away. For now. So yeah, I'm gonna need to do this. I'm, I'm like both under and overthinking and it's at the same point. I need to get this guy, this thing on the right. I need to get this thing on the right away right now. So I need to lure it to the left. Okay, I'm not close enough to lure this. What if I do this? I lure them both here right now. No. Okay, never mind. I can't do that. Yeah. That's not really worth it either. So 
I can trap that dog there. But then I still can't move that one around yet. I can't climb upward as far as I'm aware either. And I thought, I may, oh, I may, I can crush this, but no, it, it won't. Which is nice. It's like, I, I, we don't want to harm these doggies, we're just trying to defend them. I mean, they're robots, but they're robo doggies, you know? Alright. I actually have to, like, lower this over here, or else I'd be stuck. overthinking this. Like, it's not, like, I know it's frustrating when, like, people know, like, the answer and they're just, like, watching the streamer mess up, so I'm sorry about that. Because usually I've been pretty straight, I've been pretty good with these so far. This is, like, the first one that's actually giving me issues. Because it's, like, alright, let's just go, let's go back to basics real quick. Again, I can lure that over, but I need to lure him to the right more. I need to figure out a way to do that. Like, that's my issue. I need to lure this guy to the right. I'm from the right to the left, I mean. Yeah, I can lure it, but then I'm just... Oh, no. I'm bad. It took me way too long to figure that one out. At least this section of it out. Poor dog. Kept on getting turned into light. Like, oh. Neat. Oh, whoops. 
That was for back button, my bad. Playing Marco Polo while the guy watches. Okay, just neat little things. I just want to see the fail thing. Or no? Alright. I guess maybe just can't touch these guys? These guys? I, I do want to see the fail state. Alright. Ah. Neat. So yeah, just don't touch these. Alright. Easy enough for now. Alright, I... Okay, I can't... Yeah, I, I just can't jump down that. Looks like, again, light is their enemy. Looks like they're also pretty static. Like, they won't chase, as far as I can tell. They might move faster, actually. We'll see. There's, like, a chase mechanic. We'll see. Is there, like... Nope! Alright, that's neat. So there's no chase mechanic by these guys, as far as I can tell. They will just float around. But they also have the same tentacle like hook things as like the larger ones, so it makes me feel like there's gonna be larger ones of these later. Or at one larger one. don't have lips they can't whistle unrealistic zero out of ten refunded left negative reviews oh whoops I didn't notice that cage there It's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be neat when they start like combining all these enemies, as well. Like they're gonna probably combine this with the dogs and everything else. You okay, have no idea how long this game is, but I'm guessing not very. But I I'm more into this just for the art than the like puzzle solving. Not saying that the puzzle solving's bad by any means, but. I love the art style. 
I love just the atmosphere. Of the, I guess atmosphere more is the correct term for these style of games. Do you like that tree in the background that looks like somebody's face in the top right of the screen, if you can see that? Again, very, like, just organic-style gameplay, I feel. Like, everything just feels good about this, and, like, natural, like, learning curve, I guess. Alright. Well, that was, a, that was a my bad situation. Oh! Shit. Alright, it'll do that. Oh, hey. More art. So, it'll, again, like, it looks up and down. So if it's blocked by light, it'll look for a path upwards, and take the path upwards. And then it'll look up and down again. That is, again, that is very just organic, the way they teach you these mechanics. Organic mechanic. Also the name of, a uh, person in Mad Max Fury Road. Which is also just a great name in general, like Organic Mechanic, just sounds neat. Oh hey! I love the- just the look at this game, man. Like, I don't have a webcam on, but I have a smile on my face right now just looking at this. It just plays. It looks so nice. It has that, like, just... I don't know how to explain it. It's like this atmosphere. Like, it... It sets this up so well. Oh, hey, it's a doggy again. Oh, I told you they were going to start combining the two. Let's see what this does first for doing. Ah. Okay, there's that switch there that I need to. Okay, okay what happens if I do this? So it pushes it. Is 
Did I want to do that? What does this do again? Yeah. That sets that over there. Hmm. So what's the plan? I can move that back over ahead to the right again, but... I, I want to trap something over there on the right, really. Oh, whoops. Came up too fast and touched that. My bad. Oh, there's different animations as well. Didn't even notice. But I kept track of my progress, which is nice. that over that way? I feel like I didn't do that right. Oh well, I'll take it. Oh, and I can't go down again. Alright. Maybe that was a different way of solving it. Oh jeez. That, oh, I bet I'm supposed to guide these over so they push stuff. All right, and it'll always try to go up first. That's neat. And it'll go down, and it'll just keep on going down. All right. Till it hits this, and then it'll go across, and then it goes, and it hits a wall, and then it'll go up. So I go up here. Wait for this to go up. It goes all the way up. Wait for it to hit this. It goes the other way around. Okay, neat. Oh. That's my bad right there. Alright, yeah, it's just gonna go that way. Oh, I just realized it's actually stuck right there. So I need this to go down. So how do I get this to go, this guy to go down then? If I go back here, it's not gonna go up or down. So how do I force this to go back down? Ah, that's how. And now I'll go down all the way and push it. And I'll push it onto its own light so I can just stay here for a bit. Very neat. I like these puzzles. They're a good mix of puzzles.
and this is where he was before. Looks like a something buried over there. Or a shovel over way over there, so that's neat. And just all these little touches. Oh, more more paintings. Oh, this is another one where I have to play. little different things really like Ooh. oh that's not good yeah oh another one I needed to just do this. Yeah, yeah, because I, need, I needed to go around it, and then I needed to trap this guy over here. Okay, it restarts this entire scene. Alright. My bad. Alright. I should... Oh, I thought I'd just reset that one area. I don't know if it's thought I completed this yet or not, so I'm just gonna do it again. We're gonna listen to this again. See, the thing is, if I go down, I'm screwed, right? Because there's no light, so... I mean, we'll just still check, yeah. Yep. I mean, that was pretty obvious, but I just wanted to make sure. this to go down so I... oh I I know what I'm missing because it moves around I just move around underneath it over on that side
Okay, that means it's kicking up. So I almost solved it. It's, that's also a great way of telling when you're almost solving a problem if the music starts picking up. It even saves it right here in case I mess something up. Get on, dog. Get pushed. This is where he was before. Hmm. I've not trapped one of these by light yet, so. Also, look at there's a map of the world, so this is this takes place in our world or whatever equivalent is to it. I need it to go. It's gonna go down, up. And then, yeah, I need to go up again. And then it'll eventually make its way over here. Alright. Oh! I'm bad. I can go up that, go up those ladders. It's not a ladder right there. Shoot. Yeah, it's my bad, because it's gonna go up and it's gonna continue that pattern. So I need it to not do that. Trying to maybe he's like trying to turn on a giant light or something because he's like thinking about like his his reading got ruined so he was like looking for something. All right, so what does this do? Oh, turns it to a globe. up to that bird. Anything here? No. <laughs> like that. Should bring the lift down? hide here in case there's something. Alright, now. Oh, I 
saw that movement right on the right side there, so... Oh, it's a fish. Okay. More switches. Oh, jeez. Oh, I can move it all the way over. statue. That's neat. You can kind of tell the relationship just from like that. Like, don't need dialogue. It's like the guy wants to shoot it with a crossbow. The guy's like, no, you can't do that. Okay, what the heck is this? There's all these like faces. Yeah, like, know this one, know this one, yeah. So like you can tell which one is, like, better at the books or whatever. It's, it's neat. Alright. And I can do that. actually avoid doing it. That's awesome. Except for... So there are human- it looks like there's humans and birds who are here. There is a combination of them. Alright, so... And again, it, it will back up, so... So I- okay, okay, I know what I need to do. Piss this one off. Get it over here. Oh, actually, I did. I played this wrong. 
I need to move that over more. I had it right to begin with over here, I believe. I don't need to do all that yet. I need to get this one pissed off and chasing me. And then that. Ah. My bad. Got it. Get on, doggies. I'm out of here. Secret room discovered. I want to see what's over here. Ah. Uh, oh, that was a discovery as well. Achievement unlocked. Because it looks like I'm supposed to go to the top left, so I want to see what happens if I go down here. Because I see that down that way. Now it's like the hidden, like a hidden spot. There's probably a lot of hidden spots that I've just missed. More hidden art. Yeah, that is just a hidden little spot there. That's awesome. I probably missed other ones, but it's neat at least finding one of them. 
This would do though. Because if I go up, he notices me. Souls 4, yeah. Dogs are his. Alright. That's neat. Alright. He finally noticed me. Alright. He's like, I made these doggies.
that's pushing it away. Alright. Never mind yet. Oh, I, I need to, I want this to move around. Because I need that to eventually get pushed to the top somehow. It's like a family tree right there. I was gonna so, see, is it gonna push that all the way out or not? But it got stopped. And then it's gonna push that and get stopped there. And then it's gonna hit that. And that's what I wanted. I also wanna look at. I kinda wanna look at that tree, but I don't think I have a way of doing that. It is a family tree thing. I wonder if there's a way to actually peep at that, but probably not. No, because there's no way for me to actually get that dog out of the way, as far as I can tell. Because even if that dog was pushed around by this over here, I couldn't do anything. Yeah. Hello there. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh, that's nice. It's nice to have, like, a guy who's not just instantly there to, like, he's gonna kill me or whatever. It's nice, it's like my guy was, you know, cautious, because this area is dangerous, and... Like, build up that, okay, this bird guy's not the bad guy. Okay, so... I can just climb around here, so let's climb around. Also, I see there's, like, a portrait there. Looks like he's leaving for something, maybe war. Also, I know he's like a long codon, but it looks like he has like incredibly short, uh, like legs. Cause that's like his shorts or whatever, but that's just his overcoat. And his pants. But it, it looks like that bird has like tiny, tiny, tiny legs. Alright, so now that... What's he even... What's the plan though? Like I need to get the th I need to get this down here at some point. So 
I need to do... I do need to get this back. So I need to get the... Figuring this out more. Because I need to chase the dog over. Yep, it moves. Or not. I'm bad. So, how am I gonna do this actually? Maybe I do just want to trap the dog there. Like, trapping the dog is fine. It doesn't hurt me in the slightest. Because I need to get that. So how do I... Can you figure out how to get that down there? Or no, I need to get the dog pushed. Like, the dog needs to start pushing that. The jelly over. It's good, it's good, I got this. Cause I needed to push that over. So it's gonna be pushing there, so huh. Need the dog to be chased to the left. So how do I get there? the dog. I need to get this jellyfish to go down.
think I have an idea. No, I actually I don't do I. Because yeah, this is not gonna do anything. I still think getting over there is a good choice. I just don't have a way of getting up. Yeah, because I can't get off here. I can't jump down. Because I need this dog to get all the way to the left side here. And get stuck. That's the only way I can force this guy down. So I need the dog to like somehow chase me, I think. I don't know I can get the dog to chase me. Considering that's the only thing that raises it up or down. I have no other way of getting over there. So do this. That's how I get to move left and right, actually. I need to move down that way to the right. Ah. frustrating like for people watching because like this probably is fairly obvious but you know I'll, I'll mess up I'll mess up all right let that hit this go up there now this will go back down That's what I needed to do. I can try, I can hop it right there, but I'll just wait for it to go back and do it again. Oh, I can't play the piano.
on this view. No. Alright. And more mechanics. against that. wrong. I need to lure it, then run up and down. Alright, I can't do that on ladders. That's good to know. No, because I do need I do need to lure it over this way. this though. No, I can't. Because I can't drive down. I think I know. Right, if it's on that side of the ladder, well, it's still. Right, it's testing stuff out. There we go. I can push. I could push off the side. Which actually, that wasn't even my intended solution. It's just. time that well it's safe but I've had that to the left at least intricate puzzles, really. They're pretty neat.
Another painting. Huh. So I need to climb up here eventually, I think. Oh, and there's this giant clock in the background as well. That's awesome. Like how my solution's like right there, but I can't. Like where I need to go is like right there. Time to see what everything does. Well, I can do this right now. I don't know how much it's gonna help, but hey. It's on a timer. So I need to trap the other ones there when I do that. Alright, cool.
Actually, no, that's bad. I messed this up. Because I need to trap that guy first. I need to get that guy trapped, so... To start off with this guy getting mad. Start going home. There we go. Let's see. If there, is there anything over here that I can do? Doesn't look like it. But hey, might as well take a look while I can. You know. This is a real. That was a really neat puzzle, by the way. I, I really am. I really am enjoying these puzzles. Alright, that's the guy who went exploring. at this place again. That. 
close. Get the book, it's like, guys, like, yo, I just want to shoot it. Just wants this book for God's sakes. Sets at these. Flying like the bird people live in the underworld area. Neat. They have to hide above. I just realized I messed up. So it's gonna go down and I'm screwed. Yeah. Should have gone up when I had the chance.
Oh, again, I screwed up because it's going to do the same thing. It's going to well take that. I need to do it while it looks the other direction. Yeah, not right now. When it hits this wall, I do it. Right? Or not? I'm messing this up. Oh, I could drop down there. I'm... I'm bad. I need to... Okay, I'm messing this up. Also, let me double check this. Alright, yeah, there's nothing I can do with that. I need this light switch over. Wait, what light is it? Yeah, I need that switch. There we go. Now it's gonna go up. Up and down, or how far is it gonna go down, down? It's gonna go down, down? It's only gonna go down one. Oh. Ah, this is my bad, I'm taking the L again. All right. So yeah, falls down there, so I need to... I need to do more to move these around. can't jump down at all there, so fun. Oh, I know. Well, it's down there, then I... Oh, no. Can I hit this? Yep.
And that's one half of the puzzle there. Oh, jeez. these bolt pressed I had it. I messed up. Alright, get this guy to chase me again. I didn't need to do that. Because I knew this up. Bam. Neat puzzle. Right, looks like there's something to do over here as well. Another painting. Neat. That doesn't affect anything at least. Oh, he's still traveling. This guy. that sweet victory music a little bit. Yeah. Alright. Let's go. Ooh. thing. Will he run in- okay, he'll keep his distance. And he can't climb ladders, so that's- that's interesting. But 
now, okay, now I'm past him. Awesome. Well, actually, I'll take the loss. What happens if I try walking into him? Okay, yep, he'll, he'll do that if I get too close. Alright. Well, I, I wanted to see. So I have to be the one to walk past, because he'll stop when I stop. So like if I go if I try going right right now, I can't push him any further that way. I don't know why I'm calling it the thing him because it's Closer. That's what I wanted to do. There we go. Sorry, buddy, you're stuck there. Or actually, there. I need to get. I need to keep him the right distance as well. Seems just really neat. It's throwing more and more dis designs at me. Oh Jesus! Oh jeez! All right, I need to get him down to that. Ooh, I gotta see what happens if I keep him light. He must turn into an object. All right, I can do this. I can't have mine here when I press it, so I need to figure out how to do, do this. Dang it. 
Thought he was far enough away right there. That's my bad. I need to do is line myself up again, that's all I had to do right there. Oops. Uh, I need to send this up. This is fine still. Because I will be further down around than he is. Yep. That's neat. Turns to a coat, right? Uh, I don't, don't think it's the best idea. I know it's not been the longest stream, but I think it, this is a good stopping point for this game. We'll take a look at this picture right here, because I think it'll save afterwards, and if not, it doesn't. Oh. We have to harvest books. Okay, yep, and it won't walk into the layout, so that's good to know. I thought good pretty soon.
just short of being able to touch that. I didn't see this like extra gap here for a while. I think right here is a good spot to uh, call it good for now. This game's really neat. I'm gonna can definitely continue it. Oh look, I can look at all the paintings I've done. Oh, I missed one over here. I missed a, I missed a lot more paintings than I thought. Jeez. Like, I don't know how much more I have left, but. I'm very much enjoying this so far, <laughs> but I'm going to call it good for now. I'll upload this on YouTube as well, because I'm really enjoying it, so take care for now, and uh, I might finish this off tomorrow morning, and then also continue with the Dread X collection, we'll see, but that's going to be it for right now, so again, very good game, it's called Creeks, uh, don't know if like, I mean, it's a nice little puzzle game. Uh, take care everyone and thanks for watching.